the MetaQuest 3 is going to absolutely revolutionize video editing. What's up guys, my name is Devin Wynn. Welcome to 11% Tutorials. Today I have a little bit of a different video. I recently got my hands on a MetaQuest 3 and my mind was absolutely blown. I was absolutely astonished with the capabilities. I got it just to really game and only shortly after when I was testing out the workspace functions, it occurred to me how this is gonna absolutely change video editing and the way we work in the future. And here's why you need to be in on VR and AR tech and how it's gonna change your career. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into the video. So the MetaQuest 3, already off the bat, just an amazing, absolutely insane VR headset. Already I had MetaQuest 2, it was absolutely insane. I love the headset, mainly for gaming and just you know having fun. The MetaQuest 3 is just obviously a new updated version. It comes with a couple more cameras and sensors that allow for color vision pass-through, which basically means that if you put the headset on, it looks like you're looking at the world around you all in color, it's pretty insane. Why is this important to us video editors? Well, starting off with our number one reason is AR workspaces. So as video editors, you know it's kind of a complicated process to get in your perfect workspace, right? Am I right? We have to have these crazy giant monitors, super high teched out computer with the best processing chips, perfect keyboard setup, and of course you'd like to have a nice, quiet, non-distracting environment to work in. Well, you know the reality of life, none of that really ever happens. And plus it's always super expensive to get the most teched out giant monitor screens to see everything perfectly. Well, included in the MetaQuest 3 is the new updated Meta workspaces for Facebook Horizons, basically is the original game. And basically in this application, it gives you access to your own computer and you can basically work in a virtual environment or an augmented reality environment. And you have these giant monitor screens that were just absolutely insane and amazing to work on. It was like, it's like a, it was bigger than my TV. And the the best part is you can have like three giant monitors. You can adjust your windows however you like them. They're basically surrounding you. It's like your Iron Man. I swear to God, it's like your Iron Man, but I was doing After Effects and Premiere Pro. All I had to do is download the Meta Casting app on my computer and then cast it onto my Oculus Quest. And I'll just let you see this footage of me testing it out right now. It's, it's absolutely crazy. Okay guys, so now that we're inside of Meta Horizons workroom, I'm gonna go ahead, it's asking me to create a desk. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hold these two triggers and make a desk the size of my desk. Boom, there you go. So now we have this desk, this is this is insane. It feels so real, honestly. And boom, now we have the height confirmed. And that is insane, look at that. Right here we have, we're just like in this cabin and I have this giant monitor in front of me of my computer and we're editing in Premiere Pro. This is, this is crazy guys. Now I can go ahead and hit my computer and you can see I can make some more windows of what we're doing right here. So as you can see, I can just go ahead and set these controllers down. And what's even cooler is that I can turn off the pass through right here of my desk. So if I turn off the desk pass through, we have a virtual version of my own computer. That is crazy if you ask me. So I can literally type and just do stuff. The only problem that I've noticed is that sometimes it can be a little bit laggy, but other than that, right now it's doing a pretty good job. Right now we have our new title pack version 2.0 title pack. If you haven't checked it out, make sure to go check it out. And if I wanna go ahead and just add some more windows, so let's say I have this finder window right here, I can go ahead and create a new window computer screen. So let's go ahead and create another monitor and another monitor screen. So now we have three monitors. It, this is crazy. I feel like I'm like, I feel like I'm Iron Man, serious. And I can just go ahead and edit and work with our new title pack, which by the way, this title pack is absolutely insane. We just dropped 20 new titles right here. This is the blonded one, I love it. And as you can see, you can just drag and drop these titles. If you go to our browse, we have a bunch of different crazy titles. Let's go ahead and choose this one, number three. This one looks pretty cool. And we're just gonna go ahead and scale that down to 50% because all of our titles are in 4K. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and change this to whatever the title I want to say. So let's say like Meta 3. There we go. And now you can see we have a sick new customizable title. This is absolutely insane. I love this preset pack, by the way. Make sure you go check it out on 11%.net. We just dropped it there, 11%.net. But as you can see right now, I'm literally editing in VR. It's, it's crazy. I have the most quiet, sound surround space. I'm in this nice cabin, no distractions. And I have three crazy monitors right here in front of me. And I, I feel, oh, that's my real monitor. <laughs> but as you can see, it just absolutely expands the workspace and just the stuff that you can do in this program and your editing workflow. So I mean, seriously, like if you're gonna tell me that this is not gonna change the video editing workflow space, 
like what else will? Moving on to the number two reason of why you need to be in the AR and VR space is because of augmented reality content. Now, what do I mean by this? Now, as you know, we're living in a content world mainly dominated by just short form videos or 2D videos and it's on a flat screen on your computer or your iPhone, whatever that may be. But you may have already seen the implications of it taking over. We have YouTube 360 VR, we have VR effects and Premiere Pro and After Effects and After Effects even has a special editor window that you can edit 360 footage and incorporate that into a VR video that you can post on YouTube. VR is here, it's here to stay and slowly making its advances. And I seriously think it's going to be the main form of content once more and more headsets become accessible to other people. I feel like right now we're living in the mass adoption phase. It's like that era before everybody had an iPhone and everyone was on like a flip phone or a Blackberry. And the idea of everyone having this nice high tech like glass screen, touch screen iPhone was just absolutely berserk. Well, look at the world now. I feel like that's exactly how it is with VR right now. And you can already see the forms of VR content starting to be implemented in the world. For example, Pokemon Go, the Cause AR exhibit, Minecraft Earth, and a bunch more brands and artists are starting to implement VR and AR into their work. So why aren't you? It's seriously a rapidly growing industry. You already had the meta stock alone do one of the craziest years and if you seriously manage to pick up some VR or 360 virtual environment designing skills you're really putting yourself ahead of the curve and advancing your skills and making your set of skills more valuable to other people as more and more people want to have virtual reality content or AR content and instead there's a bunch of photographers and videographers out there in the world guess how much more you can seriously charge your prices so seriously guys I highly recommend you checking out ways you can learn VR or AR tech and incorporate that into your video editing skills or services that you can provide to other people and I think it really helps advance your career. And lastly, the third reason why you need to be in the AR and VR space is opportunities. You're leaving money on the table. This kind of ties in with our second reason, but more so just the limitless possibilities that the VR field is constantly growing and expanding to. Of course, people think VR and AR is cool. It's just they don't know how and still just a little bit too new to them for them to fully adapt it and incorporate it into their everyday lives. You can be that person and it can seriously get some attention and eyeballs on your work. For example, the other month I made an AR version of Drake's plane on Adobe arrow it was super easy to design i just kind of made it for fun because i thought it'd be a cool project idea i posted it and guess what it was sent to drake's team by a photographer that i knew just absolutely crazy stuff and opportunities exist out there because vr and ar tech is still new it's still in its beginning phase and if you're watching this video you are early so please seriously if you can go out there learn some new ar skills and just be creative. There's already so many applications and programs out there that make it super easy to incorporate and build some AR creations. For example, the Adobe Aero app, which we actually have a tutorial linked right here in the description that makes it super easy and simple for you to make some 3D creations that you can put into your own world. Adobe is also another one of those companies that is onto this early VR tech and they're making sure that they implement it into every one of their products. So if you have the Adobe suite, make sure to download Adobe Aero. It's super easy to make some AR content. I'm serious, who knows the doors it might open for you. Now, if you guys it's the end of the video. I just want to say thank you again so much for watching. Make sure to check out the MetaQuest 3. Seriously, I know it's $500, but if you create something cool with it, it might be one of the best investments that you ever make with your career. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we do have a very special offer right now at 11%.net. We're expanding our store and we're looking for more ways that we can incorporate you guys, the subscribers and the people to incorporate your voice and your products and ideas onto our store and website. We're expanding 11%.net into a website that not only offers presets that we create, but presets that you create. And the best part is, is that we're giving you the highest percentage rate out of all creative marketplaces out there. I swear to God, mark my words. We are giving you not 50%, not 60%, not even 80%, but we're giving you 89% of all the sales that you make off your Mogers. This is a limited time offer only, so it depends on when you're watching this. But right now we're hosting our own free program on our Discord server that's teaching you guys how to create some Mogers and how you can upload them to our website and start making some passive income as video editors. And the best part is, is that we're also teaching you guys how you can create some AR and VR content as mentioned in this video with Adobe Arrow and how you can start publishing that as well and how you can start making some extra money with your new set of skills as well. So if you're interested, make sure to check out the learn more link at 11percent.net. We'd love to see you guys there in the program. We'd love to help you guys start making some extra passive income as some video editors. But seriously, guys, I just want to say thank you again so much for watching. If you found any value, make sure to smash the like button, hit subscribe. It's free. All this content is free. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.